I-V-B-N, The Witch, Video Blog, Network, Home to Weekly NFL Predictions, Great Personality Profiles, Great Professional Wrestling Video Blogs, Great Sports Video Blogs, Great MBTA Video Blogs, plus tons more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 7.48 in the morning, Berwick, Massachusetts. It's Thursday, April 6, 2018. And 17, going to be a rainy day today. Highs about 45 degrees. Raining cats and dogs. Maybe an inch or two of rain. We do really need the rain because we're still in a drought. It's not a, an extreme drought, but it's getting there. And we'll probably be out of the drought within a few months. Which is pretty, pretty good. And there's some news to report today before my first video blog subject of the day. Do, 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 do. The Boston Red Sox beat the Pittsburgh Pirates in 12 innings with a home run by Sandy Leon. So that's awesome. The Cleveland Cavaliers beat the Boston Celtics by a score of 114 um, 90. And the Cavaliers are back in first place in the Eastern Conference. And they hold the tiebreaker if they finish with the same record. Also, the Washington Capitals won the President's Trophy for the second straight year in a row. So congratulations to them. And the Golden State Warriors have won the best record in the NBA for the third straight year in a row. They don't have an award for the best record in the NBA for the regular season, but I think they should name it the David Stern Award for Best Record of the NBA for the regular season. And it's Happy National Burrito Day. I bet Chipotle's will have a lot of burritos today. That's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do 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 do? Be back in the flash with my first video blog subject of the day. Get out! Your soul sweet cause they're cute. The more the merrier. Go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing good. Release the host. Time to move on, which Are you writing a book? Want to put a wager on that, Richie? This action will not be toyed at BMHS. RVBN. Great quote. Time now is 7.50 in the morning, Bellarca, Massachusetts. Angelo, going to go to Market Basket today. Scratch off millions of scratch tickets. He'll win nothing. I'm back. My first video blog subject, subject of the day is the personality profile. Today's personality profile is about the late, great sports broadcaster, Ned Martin. Ned Martin was famous for being the Red Sox announcer for over 30 years on both radio and television. Ned was born in Pennsylvania and he grew up in Virginia. He has a, he had that Virginia accent and he started broadcasting Red Sox games in 1961. And he did them into 1992, so that's 32 years. He started on radio and eventually moving over to television. Some of his broadcast partners in the Red Sox booth over the 32 years he did games were Kurt Gowdy and Art Glesson. And former Red Sox pitcher Mel Parnell and Ken Coleman and Jim Woods and former Red Sox player Ken the Hawk Harrison. You could put it on the boards. Yes. But he didn't say that as a Red Sox announcer. Ken Harrison didn't. And Bob Montgomery and Jerry Remy. Ned called over. 5,000 Red Sox games during his 32 year career with the Red Sox. Some of the memorable moments he um, called well as a Red Sox announcer was the 
Yaz's 400 home run and 3,000 hit. And that World Series home run that Carlton Fisk hit in 1975. And Roger Clemens' 20 strikeout games, among others. And Ned also was a kind of a na national baseball announcer. He called the 1975 World Series on NBC Sports, television, and radio. That's how he called um, Carlton Fisk home run on NBC radio. Also, Ned did three American League Championship Series games on CBS Radio 1976, 77, and 78. And also, Ned Martin's famous um, quote while broadcasting was, Mercy! He would say it on a good play and a bad play. Also, Ned did some football games on the radio. He called Harvard and Yale and Dartmouth football on the radio. And he called Patriots games back in the 1960s on WHDH Radio 850, the original one, for a few years until WBZ Radio got the New England Patriots games in... in 1966. And also, Ned did some bowl games on the radio as well. Ned was one of the greatest Red Sox announcers of all time, and he didn't lose a step within the, the when he was getting older, but he was, but in 1992, Nesson let go Ned Martin after after 32 years as a Red Sox announcer and Ned basically retired from broadcasting and he kept a low profile. His last public appearance was at the Ted Williams Memorial at Fenway Park in July of 2002 and after he got off the plane and in North Carolina, he suffered a heart attack and passed away. Um, Ned's in the Red Sox Hall of Fame as an announcer, but he has not won the famous Ford Frick Award for broadcasting excellence to the Baseball Hall of Fame. He should really be considered. He'll get it posthumously. That's about it on Ned Martin, and that's about it on this video blog for right now. I'll be back later, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Two more video blogs for you. One will be about the 10 celebrities that should be a speaker at the MCC Celebrity Forum in the near future. And the third and final video blog on that will be about the Bell Health Healthfare. Health and Wellness Healthfare. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Benning guy. I'm all was blood. WCCO accents, nice legs. Elizabeth Hatso, so stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. And then the Church of WPIX, Shadow Love, New York. Such a rocking cougar. Got the best legs in New York City by none. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Mallory Brook of WMTW TV 8 in Poland Springs, Maine. Rocks. And I was mentioned on her Facebook chats on a fan page. Mallory has best legs in Portland, Maine. And the second best legs in the state of Maine behind Aria Woolley of WABI Channel 5. Have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Bye.